So good. Hi everyone, I'm Sandrine here in Happy Cool and welcome to a new Diary of a TV Addict. Today I wanted to talk about Grimm and more specifically this season 4 because so far it's my favorite season. If you've watched my Diary of a TV Addict about starting a show late then you know that I actually started watching Grimm in its second season but I've been really really enjoying it since then. But I have to say this season is especially good. So I thought I'd share five reasons why I'm loving this season so much. Now before I get into it, this is a spoiler warning. I will be talking about everything that happened in the show up until now, or at least the last episode, which aired on March 20th. So if you haven't seen it and you don't want to know what happens, you might want to stop watching. All right, let's get into it. Number one, getting Monroe out. Who was freaking out in the episode in which Monroe is on trial and then they try to get him out and everybody's fighting and then Juliet, it's freaking kick ass. I think this is the first episode where I really thought, oh my God, this season is amazing. I was freaking out. I was like, this is so good, I can't even. Pretty intense episode and I loved it. Number two, who is part of the team? I mean, it's about time in a way, but I'll be honest, I wasn't really sure if I was gonna like it. I was like, oh really, I don't know. Would I like him as part of the team? Oh my God, yes, he's awesome. I feel like the way they included him in the team is just so, Good. And the way he reacted, I mean, my favorite scene was in the episode where they revealed to him everything that's really happening. At the end of the episode when you see him sitting in the trailer, kind of reading all the books and absorbing all the information, you're like, this is awesome. He's gonna be a great addition to the team. And he is! Number three, Juliet as a Hexen Beast. I didn't see that coming. I gotta be honest, didn't see that coming, but I love it. Because it finally gives Juliet something to do. I mean, she's always been a character that I enjoyed, but you know, everybody else had some sort of power, or something going on with them, and she was just kind of like Nick's girlfriend. But now you're like, oh, I see what you did there, Grim, and I like it. I know they're trying to get rid of it, but I'm like, don't get rid of it. This is the best part of the show right now. Number four, Adeline versus Juliet. What up? When Adeline comes in and she's kind of threatening Juliet and she's thinking she has the upper hand there and you're like, oh buddy, you're in for a big surprise because she can totally kick your ass. And she's actually stronger than Adeline. She's stronger than like, almost every Hexen Beast from what we understand. Like, she's not just a Hexen Beast, she's like, really powerful Hexen Beast. Number five, Adeline is pregnant again with a Nick's baby. <laughs> yeah, that pretty much sums up how I feel about that. So this is my five reasons why I love this season so much and it's not even over yet. We still have like eight episodes. If that's the middle of the season for them, I just can't even imagine what is waiting for us at the end of the season. I'm just, this is gonna be great. So those are my thoughts, but of course, I'd love to hear what you think of this season of Grimm, so let me know in the comments. Do you love it as much as I do? I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of my Diary of a TV Addicts or any other videos we put on the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye! And bonus, trouble is gone. I have to say, I did not like that character. I don't know why, but the second she came on, I was like, can we please get rid of her? Because I just, this doesn't work for me.